Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today, I am on this wall again. It's been a while since I've been here and recorded a video. Got to remove myself a bit, so why the hell not? Um, basically, I just wanted to talk to you guys about wheelchair racing and why I love it. It is so good. Um, obviously, I have spoken a little bit about wheelchair racing and showed a couple of clips in like a disability sports video, I think it was called. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I'm going to be doing today, just talking about it. Probably won't be too many clips, it'll just be like, why I enjoy it and stuff. But if it's the kind of thing that you're interested in, you know, stick around. You may be wondering why I'm making this video. Well, because I've recently done wheelchair racing. In fact, I did it less than an hour ago, which is also why I'm wearing this skin tight shirt. Because, wheelchair racing. <laughs> um, no, for the aerodynamics, I need it to go fast. That's pretty much the only reason. I might, tr as I think I said this in a video last week, but I want to try and get some more clips of me now racing, because I am a lot faster than in the clip before. I'm now beating people that I never would have thought I could have beat. And I'm getting times that I never thought I could get, even after a two year break. I think it's been two years, yeah. Because, yeah, I had surgery, which made me take a couple of months off. And then I moved house, which had its own issues, and then COVID happened, and I'm back. And I'm loving it. Now, I think the main reason why I like wheelchair racing is... Like, obviously it does have a lot of health benefits, you know. Gets your blood pumping, makes you breathe, makes your heart pump, you know. It does all that healthy shit. <laughs> no, but it's, it's healthy. But it also is a good chance for me to just, like... It's not really relaxing, but, like... I like thinking while I'm pushing around. Obviously, unless it's a race or like I'm doing something big for the thing, you know, big for a training session. Um, but like when I'm just pushing around and stuff, it gives me a good chance to just like clear my head, I guess. I think that's probably my favourite part about it. Um, I think today uh, I did a 100 meter race and that was again the fastest that I've done it but it wasn't as good as it could have been for a number of reasons uh, yesterday I went out for a massive push and we had also gone out for the weekend and done some bits so I was pretty tired from that I didn't really feel tired from it you know like I felt like I had recovered enough um, but also, I had some different wheels. I had some spoked wheels rather than carbon fibre. And they make a big difference, I think. So, yeah, that's an issue. Um, now, I, I'm just going to talk a little bit more about wheelchair racing. Just because, like, I've already explained why I enjoy it, you know, it gives me a chance to clear my head. It's fun, it's healthy, it makes me stronger, it makes me better. That, that's pretty much it. I also like the people that I train with. They're always really supportive and stuff. So, if for some reason are watching this video, shout out to you. You're amazing. Um, but yeah. Just some wheelchair racing updates. I've ordered a new helmet. I'm going to possibly show you guys it. Because um, I need a like motorcycle, no, not motorcycle, a uh, cycling helmet, uh, in case I crash or something happens, for some reason something hits me in the head, in fact I hit my head, in fact I hit my head a couple of times today, uh, while pushing, you know, because it's quite a up, down, you know, that's a little bit weird, um, but like, I'm sure you've seen it in a couple of clips, in fact I might show you some of the clips again, Involved sports, so I definitely need that protection. 
and that's also why I have these sleeves because my arms rubbing, otherwise I'd bad and bruised. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I think. Oh yeah, I'm also gonna start looking for my own racing chair. I need to try and find funding for that because they're expensive. Um, yeah, that's not gonna be fun. Um, but like, I think. Although I do say about the equipment being important, it is important, but I think it's also quite a big mental game, because some of the people that I train with, uh, like, even last week, weren't in as good a headspace as they are this week, and the difference that it made for them was amazing. Hello. Do you want to come say hi? Hello. No, you're just going to sit there and scratch your neck. You're good. So, yeah, I feel like I'm just rambling on about this. It's because I've recently done it and I just kind of want to talk to you about it because it's interesting, at least for me. Now, I think with wheelchair racing, it's quite an inaccessible sport, but that's the same with a lot of disability sports, which is silly because that's the reason why it's meant to be accessible, you know, for the disability is for fact that you can't go out and do regular riding. <laughs> Are you okay there? Um, so yeah, I think with like getting back to the racing, I've definitely got a long way to go before I am at my peak. Um, at least I hope I do. I'm gonna try getting some of my own stuff together for the wheelchair and my goal, my end goal is Paralympics but um, yeah I guess we'll just have to kind of wait and see for that but I feel like again I'm rambling on a little bit so I'm gonna end this video here if you enjoyed my passionate talk about wheelchair racing then leave a like, subscribe, all of that usual stuff um, as I said I'll try and get some more clips and things got a competition this weekend on Saturday so I'll either get some clips from that or do a vlog thing or something I don't really know yet but um yeah that's gonna be it I hope you enjoy see you next time Bye.